Today, we're going to talk about the high current craft hard seltzer and why we think it's a good thing. Hey there, NJRoot22.com. And as you saw in my intro, we're going to talk about the high current craft hard seltzer today. I bought a variety pack here and I think it's a contender, a new contender of being the uh, one of the, the regulars in our rotation here at NJ Route 22. This 12 pack here comes with 12, 12 ounce slim cans, which I'm not, I hate slim cans. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I don't care, but this gets a pass. These have 5% uh, alcohol and they have less than one gram of carbs and sugar. And it comes in four flavors. Oh, this comes out of the Southern Tier Brewing Company. They have a lot of things. They're a huge company and they have all sorts of vodka cans and, and a ton of different spirits and a lot of beer. The Southern Tier Brewing Company is, uh, is getting gonna be a Budweiser one of these days. But these four flavors we have here are blood, orange, grapefruit, black cherry, lemon, watermelon, lime, and strawberry pineapple. I like them all. I couldn't find a uh, favorite out of these at all. I guess it's, you, you may think something is different than I do, but I thought they were all equally good. The one thing that we found very interesting about these high current seltzers is the texture. They have almost a beer-like texture. I'd pour uh, texture, I'd pour it into a cup and it would foam up and it had a very light velvety kind of texture. And I found that to be very much different than the other seltzers out there that had a true just bubbly seltzer, kind of like polar seltzer, have more fizzy and feel it in the back of your neck type seltzer. And of course that would make a strong case. Like if I ever had to, was forced to drink, cause I watered down all my seltzers, all of them, at least two to one, three to one, sometimes four to one, depending on the strength. If I had to bring like 12 of them on a camping trip where I didn't have my little mixology station and 50,000 other seltzers to mix it with, I would bring the high current with me for sure. So we're big brands of this seltzer now. And uh, there's another brand I, I reviewed, I think last week, the Simple, S-M-P-L, Simple, because they have a slightly higher alcohol content and the price is, is just about uh, in line with Smirnoff. The one thing Smirnoff, they brought out their secret weapon recently, they have an 8% hard seltzer now, which has twice the value, I guess, buzz-wise. You can drink half as uh, much and get the same amount of buzz as these other seltzers. So they're, they're the king of the value hill right now, but they're, as far as overall, their regular size cans, Smirnoff has two definite competitors now, High Current, as well as that Simple brand. It's glad to, I'm really happy to see that there's new uh, seltzer companies coming out there that can compete with the Smirnoff, because for a while there, Smirnoff was a, a clear winner because no other uh, seltzers. I, th I thought, um, what do you call that? Whatever that, uh, I don't even know the name of the, the claw, white claw. I just don't like white claw. I don't know. Something about white claw does, rubs me the wrong way. And truly the same way. I don't, I'm not a big fan of truly. You'll find out in a couple of weeks why I'm even less of a fan of truly now. Having a competition uh, with, and then these companies like High Current and Simple and that companies are uh, brands of, of seltzer. It's good to have uh, options because you don't always find your seltzer at your favorite liquor store and so on. And I just, uh, that's it. I just wanted to say one thing about uh, this brand. If you go on the High Current website, it says they, they sweeten their uh, seltzers with monk food. It says this on their website, but you cannot find it anywhere on their uh, cans. They don't say monk fruit on it. And the box doesn't say monk fruit anywhere on it either. So that kind of uh, bothers me that there's such a disparity between what you read on their website and what you see on these uh, boxes and packaging. So I'm not a big fan of artificial sweeteners in any capacity at all, even erythritol and xylitol and all those things. I'm sort of on the fence with it all, but these didn't make me feel funny the next day, which is, which is nice. So that means there's something going for it, but I recommend them anyway. Have a good day. If you like these videos, hit the bell and subscribe and take it easy.